Hey everybody, how you doing? Um, okay, so this time of the semester, I typically do this type of story where we do a reaction story again, based on the idea that you've chosen. Um, I'm gonna give you an example of how to handle this type of story. Um, now, it is kind of what they would call a featureish kind of story, just in case you're wondering, and just you've seen, come across that word in the book or whatever, um, it's handled in a similar way, but we're actually not, it's actually, we're actually not at the feature phase of our of our semester. This is actually more of a newsy story. So it has to be really kind of straighter. But what I want to do is I want to show you how it's done um, using the re, uh, re discussion points um, that I typically have for my remote classes um, since, you know, we're not in class. Um, but I mean, this also could apply to any LA class that I have. So um all right, so what you want to typically do is, again, you want to kind of follow, you want to follow the structure that I've outlined for you, um, starting with a lead, a straight lead, like we've talked about, and then of course, start breaking down the lead into smaller components that back up the larger theme, okay? So that's when you have your transitions, okay? So a good outline maybe to have like transition, transition. I would say at least at least three different points to describe to back up your larger point. Now this particular story is a reaction to the um, to the uh, quality of the bus system at Rutgers University. So this is a story that goes a little bit more in depth. I would say. So what we do again, as I talked about in class, is add some anecdotes. That's a personal story within a story. And maybe a quote, not a long quote, okay? Because long quotes um, tend to be like clumsy the way they come out. They tend to be like, I don't know, it, it, a lot of people actually skip over them. A quote should be something like the easiest thing to read in the story. It should be like something like along the lines of, oh my God, <laughs> or I can't believe that happened, or something emotional, something colorful. You don't necessarily have to have just one anecdote. You could have two, okay? But let's just stick with this pattern for once. And then what you do is you kind of repeat the pattern, anecdote, quote, rinse, repeat, anecdote, quote. Okay. All right. So the lead now should be based on the um, essentially the consensus opinion of what you have. Okay. And going to the discussion point. What I'm seeing is essentially like a lot of negativity, which is understandable. Well, I mean, going back to when I went to school here in the 80s, nobody was fond of the buses. I mean, every once in a while, we do have mixed opinion, which is fine. Okay, but let's just like take what we got here. And um, what we want to do is we want to find um, stuff from people that basically is kind of full. Like this is kind of full, you know, this something that has like anecdotal material, stuff that actually like has maybe Asia, maybe like telling a little story within a story about the experience she's had or that sort of thing. Okay, one of the, the one of the complaints this particular time is about the new bus app. So she talked about that. Um, then you know, we have people that have talked about the mixed feelings. We could talk about that. Um, all right, so what we wanna look for again is maybe some sort of personal experience. Um, and um, let's see, personally, I think both the bus system and the bus app have been extraordinarily bad. Okay, so um, more about the app. Um, here's something interesting. This is Faith Wilson. Okay. Um, all right, so. All right, so let's like let's take what she's got first, okay? So I mean, like I said, what we primarily have here is basically people who are not like too happy about what's going on with the bus system. So let's go back to the, our board here. Um, okay, so like I said, it doesn't have to be exactly this way. I've seen people have like variations on this, but basically, you want to, this is a baseline lead. For how the story should go and it really it's, it's not about the bus system it's about rucker students and how they feel about the bus students okay so rucker students in this particular case say they're not happy with the bus system it seems to be that the majority opinions among the discussion points okay 
And, you know, again, if you're an in-class uh, student, it's the majority of the opinions that people you interview, but that sort of thing. So you want to, we want to go a little bit further than we did like on our worksheets, maybe because this is like a four story, a big story. So you want to have an idea and an angle. Okay. So this is the overall idea. And then, but maybe you want to sharpen a little bit to kind of like reflect more specifically how people feel about it. And then, you know, but but at the same time, I know it's like kind of contradictory to say this, but it's like specific, but in general at the same time, saying saying the <clears throat> saying the transportation mode <laughs> doesn't work very well. Okay. All right. Um all right, so we have basically um somebody saying here one of the first problems is is that you know i wish that the system was it's not the way it, way the way it works it's frightening to get off the bus at night and leaving um and having long ways to walk to a dorm i would rather much prefer, i would much prefer having the bus drop me off closer so basically like this is one of the first complaints i've one of the com most common complaints i've, I've always seen is you want to get into like the, maybe one of the first points and that is some students say they don't like the bus routes or the stops okay so you want to kind of like break down the larger point into some smaller point essentially these transitions become essentially reasons okay for why people feel the way they do okay and then you have asia barrett right here um I'm sorry, Faith Wilson, I apologize. Um, all right, so then what you do is you take maybe some of the stuff she has and you put it right here. Okay, now what you really want to do is you don't, again, you don't want to rely on direct quotes because people typically skip over the direct quotes. I don't know why this didn't go into, into the right uh, point size, but let's just go with it. So anyway, so Faith Wilson, And you want to be a storyteller and use your own words to kind of express what they're saying because you are supposed to be the professional writer and that means you're also supposed to be essentially an interpreter and basically write it because a lot of times when people talk i mean you want to have a conversational style but a lot of times when people talk it's when you actually put it down on paper it's actually kind of clumsy it's kind of like full with ums and ahs and all that sort of thing so you know they kind of like maybe go back and forth um, they don't always talk in a conversation like it's some sort of set speech or something like that. So what you want to do is you want to have it come as clear and concise, um, concisely as uh, when it comes across to people as possible. So Faith Wilson, a Rutgers student. Um, let's go right to where she says, says, said, um, she hope she so she says she wishes that, that it worked differently essentially okay so you look at what she says and you can say it in fewer words and more easily she says there have been moments where I wish this was not the way the system worked and said she wished the system worked differently okay um. As a young woman, she said, it's frightening to get off the bus late. I mean, and I could, I could relate to that because I remember being, I mean, in some ways, I remember being dropped off in like a bus stop and living in bus on Bush one time. And it was just so isolated and cold. And it was just really kind of like scary, actually. Um, uh, so anyway, so it's frightening to get off the bus at night, and and yeah, sometimes these these bus stops are like like a really a long way from your dorm. It seems like, doesn't it? Because there's not enough of them, maybe. And hat and dropped off the bus, and and can get on frightening to get off the bus at night, and then and and then having to walk to her door. Um, and then it bases another sense things. I would have wished I would have wished that the bus could drop me off closer to my destination. So she's basically saying she wishes. Oops, I'm sorry about that. 
Um, she wishes the stops were closer. And then you, what you could do is you could go into here where it says, this is actually a little colorful right here. And this could be like a quote. It's quick. It's emotional. It's even a little bit colorful. Whether I use maybe a little bit strong language. Um, I feel the bus system fails vulnerable populations at RU. Okay. There you go. Okay, so that's our first point right there, okay? So that's our quote, actually, I should say. This actually should go right here. Oops, I'm sorry about that. All right. Okay, and the other thing, another thing they talk about, I mean, you know, I've heard talk, people talk about like the buses being too crowded, that sort of thing. That'd be, good. be another point they could bring up. And, you know, I don't think that we've really gotten to that point here in this. I don't think a lot of people have talked about it in the uh, in this particular discussion point. But again, they've talked about the app. So let's talk about the app as our next point. The, um, the app, I'm, I'm, we're doing this at a time when the bus app just started. Um, and it's not working well. <laughs> so we could take this. Okay. So this could be our second point. Okay. Um, okay. So others say the new bus app doesn't work. So you introduce the next point. And then the anecdote could come from Asia Barrett, right? So who we was talking about right here? Yes. Okay. So let's see what Asia Barrett has to say. Okay. All right. So we can put stick that in here. Let's, actually, you know what? This way. Okay. Yeah. It's actually easier to read when it's smaller. Um, said. Okay. So we get like a little bit more specific said she's had she's had a lot of issues essentially with the new bus system in the app said she's had a lot of issues with the app okay now let's see what her particular story is okay there were times when she thought she had enough time to make class but she was still late because it was crowded so she relied on the app to prevent her her from being late class and to avoid crowded buses. It didn't work, <laughs> she said. See? And then, because she goes on a long time here about it, right? Um, but we don't need to say all that. We could just say it like in a shorter, more succinct way. We could actually take this part right here um she said i was the other she said the other day i was 20 minutes late due to a bus driver taking a break she was sitting on the bus like any other normal normal day i was waiting for about 10 minutes extremely frustrating and annoying so maybe we could just take this part right here and say the other day she had to wait 20 minutes We can say, she has to say, the bus app also doesn't take breaks into account, she said. While the bus driver paused. Okay. And then we go down here. And actually, there's a good quote down here. This was extremely frustrating and annoying. Actually, and that's probably really good enough because it says, and it should tell you if it's going to stop and take a break. Okay, so you basically take all that and you basically I shortened it into this. This is, I took all that and short, it says Asia Barrett 
said she's had a lot of issues with the app. She relied on the app to prevent her from being late to class and to avoid crowded buses. It didn't work, she said. And actually, this is good writing right here. I mean, crediting myself, of course, I guess, but not mean to. But but it's almost like a dramatic pause. You can use words to like create drama. You you know, shortened sentence sometimes. It's like it's kind of like it's almost like when you actually read it out loud. It didn't work. It's almost like a, it's almost like coming from a script or something like that, where they have some sort of short sentence that just says like she had to do it or, uh, you know, she had no choice, you know, or something like that. And then there's like an end and then there's like a dramatic pause or something like that. And maybe you go to a new paragraph. The bus app, oh, like another anecdote, actually, the bus app also doesn't take into account, breaks into account. The other day she had to wait 20 minutes while the bus driver paused or stopped. This was extremely frustrating and annoying. It's a good emotional quote. And there you go. All right. So that's how you basically can take those kinds of reactions and turn them into a story that's full. That basically can give the reader and you don't have to go into any kind of background or anything like that. Basically about there's a bus system at Rutgers. OK, well, I know I realize you probably have people tell you in your life, like when you're writing to people, pretend that they're like they're on Mars and they've never heard of it. Well, that's not necessarily true because you're actually you're also trying to write to an audience and the audience is supposed to kind of connect with your writing. And the audience actually um, is Rucker students. So, you know, they're going to know there's a bus system here. They know that they rely on it. And then the other thing is, is that um, other, you know, people might be like looking at Rutgers to actually send, send their children or whatever parents, that sort of thing. They, they probably have some idea that there's a bus system there. They probably want to know a little bit more about it. So what this is, it does is provide some sort of an extension on what they've already heard about the bus system, the fact that it exists, that provides some sort of depth on how it works and if it works well, okay? All right, well, thanks very much, guys, and that's it. That's my lesson on doing a reaction story.